What is going on, guys? We are here, and we are finally going to be talking about Power Book 4, Force, the finale. We are going to be talking about it. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend you guys click off the video. Go check it out. Then we are going to be talking more about this. Damn. Damn, what a finale. Nobody was not lying when they said this was going to be a hell of an episode. Because this episode took a lot of turns. Because not only did the truth come out on who ordered the hit on Gloria, but also what happened to everybody at the end. Because the entirety of this episode, everyone's making deals, everyone's turning on one another, and then Tommy has his back against the corner. <clears throat> not only does Gerard try to kill his own brother to make a move, Gerard has now no Gerard has no choice now but to make more alliances with people he does not want to make alliances with. Then he even goes to the Serbs and Walter to make a deal, which goes south. Tommy now is back to square one. Because throughout this episode, we had where Gerard tried to make a deal with the Serbs for giving them back the pipeline to having him help drop the war with Flynn, as well as also kill Tommy and Diamond. Now, he said he'd help kill Tommy and also drop the war with Flynn, but he's not going to do anything with his brother. So, when Gerard goes to Walter to try to drop the war, he says he would as well, because of more bloodshed. Then, of course, they, of course, they all want to go after Tommy. Then... Claudia is playing her side. She's using every angle she can to be able to use it against everybody. And we see a lot of familiar faces in the episode that have how the way it ends. Because not only does Tommy got to deal with all this other kind of random crap, but he's got to deal with his mother. His mother, Kate, shows back up in town as well when JP sees Tommy. He has him go back to the house to pick up stuff. For him so he has medical records tommy's unable to do so because kate shows up wanting to go ahead and just mess up everything looking for money apparently that of course her mother had and tommy and her have it out he gives her money he says this is what you came for right so now she finds out that she has another son and of course she has a another she has a grandson so what really got me is that she was still wanting to meet him even though that she was trying to like okay well you know i just want to know this i want to know that so she we all know kate is fake as hell we all know that now i will say at the very end of the episode was really intense because not only did we see everybody reunited but at the same time tommy figured out who shot at them it, who shot him and D-Mac was, of course, CBI. Gerard made the call. Dom is no longer making calls. He's on the run. And then Tommy and him does have a agreement to where they can try to help each other out. And then at the same time, Liliana is wanting to stay loyal to Tommy as well. And then she lets the doctor go. Well, the doctor is wanting to leave town. But then as soon as she leaves town, Claudia picks her up to try to get information of who, of course, is Tommy's weakness. Who is Tommy's weakness? Obviously, JP. So when she gets him, they have a big shootout at a local area. And when this happens, of course, because you got to think, in the entirety of this episode, Tommy is making moves heavy. He's taking out the Irishman one way after another, and it doesn't matter who's getting in his way. It doesn't matter who is on what side. He's killing everybody. Tommy's winning, so they're trying to get one up on him. And then when this happens, we see where everyone comes up with an idea. Once the truth finally comes out, that the reason why the Serbs hit is because, of course, it all led back to, of course, Walter making the hit on the Serbs is the reason why Gloria is dead. So when it finally comes out at the very end, and also nobody knew that Gerard was making a hit out on Diamond. So as soon as Diamond and Gerard have it out, what was really crazy is that Ger Gerard was going to be killed by Diamond, but Diamond didn't kill him. He basically made gave him an option. I can kill you now, or we can split everything down the half. You take one side, I take the other. 
And that's how it went. And so now CBI is going to be more divided than it has even said. Anyone that wants to roll with me, you let them. Other than that, there's nothing left. I will tell you this right now, guys. The way this episode ended was absolutely crazy. Yes, DMAC is still alive. JP is still alive. Thanks to everybody. But we lost somebody in this episode. We lost Liliana. Liliana gets shot by Claudia. So what got me is... Kind of makes me wonder. Kind of makes me wonder <clears throat> how this is going to go with Claudia and Tommy. Because I think Tommy put two and two together. Now that him and Vic are square, that they know what the hell's going on. And also that he now more likely figured out that Claudia was the one that shot Liliana and died. And also at the same time, now that uh, his nephew and his brother are safe and him and Diamond are good still. But at the same time, Dom is going to have to lead CBI his own way and Gerard's going to lead CBI his own way. Or if they're going to go by different names, who knows. Walter is now all alone. His kids don't want nothing to do with him. And that's how it ends is where he does not know where to go because he, you know, everything came out that he was the one behind it. That because of him, Gloria is dead. So now Vic, as well as Claudia, does not want nothing to do with him. And then Tommy even admits he wants... The entirety of the city. He doesn't want one thing. He doesn't want to mess with Dahlia no more. He wants the city. He wants everything. And even in the episode, we see where the where the feds are wanting to go after him, and they don't even know who he is. They just call him a ghost. Real back to what they said. I loved how when they said that he was a ghost, it really was a huge like like wink to ghosts himself to James St. Patrick, and I love that. And at the same time, I'm kind of curious what's going to happen. Where are we going to be seeing Liliana's funeral next next year or what? Um, also, we're going to be seeing a lot of different, you know, different players at the end. Because we even see Medina, you know, is she going to go after Tommy? Because she hears a word about it in Chicago. And she's, you know, will she try to go after Tariq and him? And we're going to be seeing maybe a crossover where, you know, Tommy figures out, hey, you know, she's going after Tariq and she's coming after me. Maybe I need to kill, you know, get rid of her and maybe it'll help me out. So I don't know. But right now, no one really knows that Tommy's alive. He does not know that he's there. Now, what's interesting is we may see a divide with Tommy and Kate and JP. And the reason why I say that is JP's willing to know Kate, but at the same time, Tommy knows all the evil baggage that comes with Kate. Because Kate, at the end of the day, she's still a two-faced person. She doesn't care about nobody but herself, but her habit as well as money. She was obviously breaking the house that JP inherited from their and Tommy's grandmother. And, of course, Kate don't care. She just wants the money. And that's exactly what Tommy said. He says, this is what you came for, right? So we're going to be seeing the divide there, possibly. And now that DMAC, as well as also JP, are reunited, maybe we could see something uh, improve there, as well as a relationship with all four of them. With Tommy, Kate, JP, as well as also DMAC, I don't know there's going to be a lot of division there, depending on what happens. Also, Tommy wanting to go after Claudia for Liliana's murder. And then also, we're going to be seeing a big divide between the friends, because now that Claudia, as well as Vic, does not want nothing to do with their father, we're going to be seeing a big divide on this, as well as also a divide between Gerard and Diamond. We don't know exactly if they're going to be called CBI anymore, or they're going to be going by different names, or how the territory is going to go. Exactly the same thing with the Serbs. Are the Serbs backing off? They're going to have their own pipeline again, and they're basically only going to go to war with whomever goes after them. And what is Walter going to do? Is he even going to say anything to Claudia about him being sick, or even with Vic? I mean, Vic knows he's sick, but I don't think Vic knows the uh, huge progression of how bad he's sick. I'm not entirely sure, but are we going to be seeing that next season? I had a feeling that we were not going to be seeing, uh, you know, it be revealed that he was sick to Lillian, to uh, Claudia or even Vic. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see if that's going to come out next season. Hopefully we do get next season. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with this because there was a lot of... There was a lot of dividing in this episode and now it's finally coming out to say, hey, you know, this is what's happening. This is what's going on. And... This is, you know, how it's going to go. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. This was a hell of an episode, hell of a season. Um, 
you know, as far as I know, we got picked up for another season, so you guys know I'm going to be covering that. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Um, power will no longer be on as of right now, not until uh, Raising Canaan comes, so you guys know I'm going to be reviewing that. But at the same time, I'm going to be giving you guys other content on Sundays as well. So until Raising Canaan comes out, I'll be giving you guys other content, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Enjoy your time. Got some other things that I'm planning on for you guys. Just bear with me, and I'll see you guys on the next one.